I must tell you that uh, the role of the social behavior is much more important than anything else in men's life, and particularly for the youngsters. This is the time for you to make are more your life. The behavior which you have adopted over here in this society, over here in this short period of time, it will go with you throughout your life. And most fortunately, we see that this educational institution, they are neither playing the part of giving this proper training of the social behavior to their youngsters. They just throw the material, the books to the children, just like you are putting these books on the back of some horse or donkey or something else. The risk of the work is totally ignored. As Alama says, so this was the last hope, but it is losing its importance. In the sense, I, I am very much uh, you see shock to say that a student is much more influenced and inspired by the not by the teaching or the knowledge of a teacher but by the personality, the action, the character of a teacher. The role of a teacher he is playing in the society. And you see that what I am playing the role, what is my character and what is the character of all the people and the society. I would not like to go this. But I must tell you that responsibility falls upon the shoulder of the youngster. You are the last hope. I am sorry to say that when you are studying in this college, you are very good, you are very lovely, you are very much obedient. This is my practical experience of 30 or 35 years. And you know, everyone of you know, but when you go to practical life, you get some job, you set on some high position, then you go on that top where all the people are going. You don't present any type of resistance. You are indulging in corruption, you are receiving bribes, you youngster, you are doing every nonsense thing which other people are doing in the society. I don't know where is the problem. Is it some problem and my training and my brought up? Or <laughs> it is being inherited by you. But anyhow, Whatever the case may be, we have attached great hope and the young generation that they will have to make a role in the development of this country. You see, Shahidazam ne jukaha ta ki Pakistan pe mera vikin मजबूत से मजबूतर होता जाता है जब मैं नौजवानों को कोई करनामा सरंजाम करते हुए देखूं। So the future of the country lies in your hands. You are the future. Today I am standing over here. Tomorrow you will be standing. You will be standing over here. But if you have not developed your social behaviour, and if there is no difference. And your behavior and that of behavior of an illiterate man and the society. 
So there is no need of coming your people over here. Here, the important thing is more than your education, remember it. More than your learning, your character, your internal life, that sacred life, that is sacred, that will be counted. Wherever you go, people will talk about your behavior, people will talk about your character, people will, people will not be influenced by your knowledge, by your education, by your social status, or anything else, or your races, or anything else. People on, will be only influenced by your character, by your social behavior, and much fortunately, the answer, for example, if there is some function, and there is some, you say, lunch program or any other refreshment, that, that shows our social behavior. Every educated person, every high people, people of high position, they will be running towards the lunch just like animals or something else are running through. They are taken. So this type of behavior, are we a nation or are we a crowd? People are talking against us. But anyhow, whatever the case may be, there have been very good example in the society that the youngsters, they have changed the society. They have brought a revolution in the society. Muhammad bin Qasim, when he attacked India, he was just like you, 17 or 18 years young boy. He was not an aged person like me. So this is the word of the youngsters. And the future of this country and your own future is dependent upon your social behavior your social interaction in this fight. I think uh, we should end this uh, because it is raining also and uh, time has also moved fast. So if you want to ask some question or there is some discussion in your mind, you can share with each other. Yes, you are very much correct. This is uh, because of the circumstances, because of the education. But here in our society, with due apology, I would like to say that there is no difference from social behavior point of view and between the educated and uneducated people of this society. We are all sitting in the same boat. I am not exempted what the educated people are doing. I am doing the same thing. So we could not dis make distinction and between the two. Chief, okay. Another question I have that uh, whenever we come across uh, something that is in the past, so education was not well prevailed. So peace and harmony and tranquility was there. But now education is uh, prevailing and uh, I think alarmingly. Everyone tries to give education to his male and even female as well. So what's the reason that now peace, tranquility, this sort of thing is completely away from the society now. In the past, whatever we, are, we feel, and now I think in the present circumstances, whenever we think about what's the flaw there, education is there, education is not there. And even uh, I think that uh, what thing is also being absent in your mindset? You yes, sir, you are very much correct. That, uh, as we go back to 20 or 30 years back, 30 years back, there was uh, no education, but there was a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of goodness in the society. But today, education is there, and all these things have vanished from the society. You see, 
that uh, that could be because of the different reasons. One of the reasons, dominant reason, was the, that you uh, being the student of science, the more it's very well than me, that science has imposed its own culture upon the people. See, that culture, that has taken away people from, away from each other. Yes, this is, I would say, the curse of technology, the curse, I won't use the word science, curse for science, but science has taken our joy, our happiness. Let's say what, uh, uh, again, quote from Alama Iqbal, the guy came, I delicately mouth. So I am being destroyed by this weapon from other side. I have a mobile in my hand. I don't need to talk to you. So I have this respect for you. Because everything is available to me over here. So this is one of the reasons, and the other reason could be that, again, I would come to you these institutions that they are not playing the same role. Well, yes, their role is not very good, which it used to be. See, Alama and Ujikai, if I got married in the game, Shamsa Alama, Mir Hassan, Alama, Arnad Nati, to my Kabi Alama, Nayiban, to my Hamisha Iqbal. So this is because of the inspiration of the teacher, because of the inspiration of the people in the society. See that. 47, 60, 70 years have passed, but we have not created any other Iqbal or Kaizazan. Everybody is in a rotten society. There is no one to be followed to see the role of the politician, the role of the leader, the role of the teachers. Everybody is behaving like that. See, anybody else? See? Okay. Thank you very much so much.